Welcome to PowerInvesting.com and thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this overview video of the site and how it can help you find better opportunities faster for your portfolio through quickly identifying where the strengths and weaknesses are in any market environment. This is the process we've used in our firm to build our portfolios for more than 17 years. By focusing on the four pillars of relative strength, we provide our members a simple, effective way to stay on to the right side of the markets and easily identify new opportunities, no matter what your style or strategy is, giving you more time to focus on the trade plan and how it fits into your portfolio and risk management. Let's get started and see how the site is built. The first page we come to is the macro view, and this page will always be free to both members and non-members alike. It gives a general view of kind of how we see the broader markets and gives an idea of kind of how to go through the macro. We believe you can do mostly through charts and uh, relative strength lists to get a good idea of where things really are. We start with our triple play charts here that are built off our RSI chart platform that have both the RSI, CFG, as well as the MA bands and some moving averages on the charts. These all are part of the way we use RSI, which we talk more about in different areas, but they give us a good start to see what the major ETFs, the SPY, the QQQ, and ETF are doing at any given moment. Now when we move on down, the next part of the macro page is the universe breadth. Now we, we talk a little bit, this is the only place we really discuss our power universe on this page, but this is what members really get, which we'll get to here in just a few minutes. But on the power, power universe breadth chart, you can see we have all the major breadth readings that we use in our analysis in one place over our own equal weight proprietary uh, index based on almost 3,000 stocks being averaged every day. So this gives us a good general overview of where the broad markets are. We like it better because it's all stocks and it uh, is one that we can curate on our own. Now when we pull on down here, we next thing we get to is our first uh, RS rankings list. This is the world ranking list, which basically a world ETF has many, uh, if not all, of the tradable ones out there. There are 60 something, I think, at the moment, and gives us an idea not only what ETFs are performing and what areas of the world are performing the best, but also kind of where we here in the US are ranking in this particular list. Uh, so we can focus a little bit on how we want to structure our portfolios. Now, from there, we moved our intermarket. ETF RS rankings, and this is based on the John Murphy idea from his classic internet, I'm um, sorry, intermarket technical analysis books. And basically, this takes a look at all of the different major asset classes here in the US and how they rank versus each other. And so that gives us a good opportunity to take, whereas in the book he talks a lot about ratios, one-on-one -on -one comparisons, we feel that by ranking them in a list, we can get a good idea of what areas are outperforming and underperforming, which give us a general idea of kind of where the economy is moving. Next, we look at our size and style, which gives us the whole idea of large cap versus small cap and growth versus value in all in one big mix. Ranking all of these together with our own relative strength rankings gives us a good opportunity to see at any given time which is leading. Now one thing to note on our site is the default is always a three month relative strength ranking because we like to see things when they're first starting to turn, first starting to make a move. So the three month is what the site defaults to. But we also have the more traditional six and 12 month rankings at a click of a button if you want to take a look at those as well and you're more of a longer term type investor. Um, but the site will default to the three months, so make that option if you want to look at something a little different. It is there. Now from the size and style, the next thing we move into is our sector rankings. Here on the macro page, we look at sectors in three different ways through the ETF world. First is market weighted, using Vanguard as the proxy. We have all 11 sectors here, ranked versus each other, again, with the same relative strength rankings. And all of these tables are also sortable by any of these areas if you want to get in and dig in a little deeper. Once we get past the market weighted, we look at the equal weighted sector ETFs and then the small cap. 
by looking at these three different ones, it gives us a good opportunity of kind of where markets are moving, not only sector wise, but on what levels they're moving, how broad or narrow that movement is. Now, once we're done with the macro page, we move over to our universe page. Oops, and this one's at the bottom, so I'm gonna go up real quick. But the power universe page is basically our equal weight universe that we calculate every day. And it's based on the average pricing of all the stocks in it. And we put it in our own charting system. Okay. Once we put it on here using these trading view charts, really nice charts. It gives us the opportunity to use our RSI charts on it. Um, look at some snapshots over here on the right of the data. And then we can also, as we saw on the last page, we have our universe breadth, which breaks down all the different breadth measures of all the stocks in this particular universe. And then we pull on down and we get into other measures of relative strength. Our third measure is our relative comparatives, where we literally compare it versus the S&P 500 or the SPY, the QQQ, and the IWM. Very actionable ideas on whether we're outperforming or underperforming these different areas. Now, in this particular chart, it gives us an idea of whether our universe is outperforming, which means things are pretty broad out there, or underperforming some of these major players. On the right here, you'll have another breadth measure, and you can kind of see a very short term. These are the percentage making new highs and new lows chart in whatever group or universe we are measuring. Here it's the entire universe, and we can see here you got a 10-day highs and lows, 21-day highs and lows, and 63-day highs and lows, giving you an idea when things are washed out or potentially diverging and or getting overbought in particular time frames, very short-term ones. The next thing we move into on our universe page is our equal weighted sector RS rankings. Not only do we have our universe from there is where we start breaking it down for our members and we put it into equal weight sectors so we can really look at what's going on in the entire sector and not just the market weighted ETFs that you see out there. By doing this, we rank them with our same relative strength and we can sort them and look at them any, at them any given day to get an idea of who's leading right now over the last week, month, or quarter. Once we've gone through that, we can drill on down. Now you can see these are highlighted under the subsectors and then the last one was under the sectors. You can click on that to go to those individual pages, which I'll show you in just a minute. But as you can see here in the semiconductor, our, our number one ranked sector, or subsector, excuse me. We have 51 subsectors that we work with, and they are ranked, or they are uh, broken down from the sectors that we build as well. All of these come from our universe, but they give us an idea and the ability to drill down very quickly and see what's performing at any given time. Okay, so once we get done with this page, we can either drill down through these links or we can go up to the top menu where we see that all of these things are provided across the top. Um, I have the information technology sector already pulled out and we'll go through it real quick. Again, what you'll notice is all these pages look almost exactly the same with a little bit of added for each level that we go down. Here, as you get into the sector level, we have one more window pane on top of our RSI chart, which basically gives us that relative strength score versus all the other 11 or 10 other 10 11 in total sectors so this is the rankings we saw on the last page you can see them both here at the top of the chart when you zoom in and out you can see where it's been how it performed you can also see it over here on the snapshot table that's on the right side now when we pull on down here we have the the breadth chart same as for the universe but now for information technology only giving us idea if this is a stronger breadth area or weaker breadth. We have the snapshot over here on the right. Moving down to the next level, again, all of these levels are the same on every, um, all of these different uh, sections are the same on every level that we will show you and show our members. Technology, we have our relative comparative chart versus the S&P uh, SPY, QQQ, and IWM, but we've also added versus the universe here. This will be on all of the sector charts. Same percent making new highs and new lows, so you can look closer to see if this is one of the areas of significance. And then we get into our ranking list. Our first ranking list on each sector page is versus the other, all the subsectors within that sector. 
This gives you an idea of where you might want to drill down further if you're looking for individual holdings or looking for individual areas of the technology sector, any sector to dive into. Next ranking list is all the ETFs in the sector. This gives us an idea and an ability to have another view of what internal parts and subsectors might be working, networking or semiconductors or software, or we can just see what ETFs in the space are working the best for us to focus on if we're that type of investor. And then finally, you have all the stocks ranked. Same RS rankings, but all the stocks ranked as far as our listings here in the uh, technology sector. So from there, we can do that. And then same thing when we drive down, we dive down to our subsector level. And this, again, you'll see the charts are very similar. The only difference is this relative strength up here is versus all 51 subsectors. Okay. Over here, that's the listing on top. And the ones that say pure next to them means just versus the other subsectors within their major sector. Pulling on down, the breadth is exactly the same. So we can see if this is an area of significant strength or weakness from a participation standpoint. The relative comparative adds one more window. So now it's got a window versus information technology since this is on the subsector level. All five still showing, and as you can see here, technology has continued to maintain some, or uh, I'm sorry, semiconductors, big relative strength as we've gone through. And then finally, you have all the stocks ranked that are in that particular area. So this, this gives you an idea of the core that our members get. And basically from there, we build on the commentary and the specialized list, relative strength list, and other things that they may be provided to give the significance between which might be best for you. So we hope this helps. We hope this gives you a good overview of the site. Please come check us out, and uh, we'd love to have you as a member. Have a great day.